Hey guys, I know it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a very long time. Um, uh, but I've had some stuff to sort out. Uh, it's been a very busy period. Obviously, this whole COVID situation hasn't really helped. Um, but I'm back. Uh, one of the delays uh, for this coming out uh, was because um, I was kind of hoping the issue would happen again. Uh, but then I barely got time to touch my mixer. Obviously, we went into a second lockdown here in the UK. And, um, yeah, uh, here's where we're at. Um, so I haven't actually used uh, this mixer or even switched it on for a good few months now. Um, so I haven't had not the opportunity to have this problem again. Um, I was kind of hoping it, it would happen today so that I can actually test this out. Um, like always, I'm going to need assistance from you guys in, in actually verifying that this is 100% foolproof. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to get straight into it. Um, so we've we've obviously had this video before in the sense that we've we've done a preliminary investigation. Uh, there's a video somewhere on this channel. Uh, go check it out. Um, I think I've found a solution. So in our previous video, uh, we spoke about two separate connections. You've got this Wi-Fi connection here, which I referred to as the external connection. And this one never disappears. You never lose coverage. Uh, it never goes blank. It never flickers. Nothing ever goes wrong with this particular uh, connection. The issue always occurs with this connection here. So you'll see that flicker between um, amber, uh, red, and green. And it'll just keep flickering. It'll go. Um, and when you come into the screen, obviously, it'll say disconnected. And it'll say connected. And then disconnected. We all know the problem. Uh, we've all had it multiple times. But the last time I had this problem, I got so fed up, I decided I'd go into the actual ch uh, network settings. And this is where I believe I found the actual uh, solution to the problem. So I went into the network uh, settings, and obviously I'm using the internal router. Um, I know some people have experienced this issue with the external router. Generally, like I said in the previous video, if you use an external router, and if it's a really good router, um, you're less likely to have this issue. Uh, but I do know some people who have this issue with um, uh, with the external router as well. So, you know, um, just bear that in mind. Uh, but I think the general sort of um, lean or direction from most of the people in the community are saying, get an external router, it'll be better. And they're not wrong. Uh, but anyway, you come into here and you obviously choose the first option, which says, I want this mixer to create a Wi-Fi network that I can connect uh, two with a device running master fader. Click into there and you'll come here. Now obviously it's the same thing uh, with, with when the issue is happening uh, but this bo box here will be in red and um, it will be empty. Uh, but what I did last time is I said I got so fed up I thought I'm just going to reset this thing up uh, the, the actual network settings because th this option here is to go into your network settings so I got so fed up, I said, whilst I'm having this issue, I'm going to reset up the entire network settings and see if that helps. When I came into here, I noticed that this box was empty with the password and it was red. So I initially thought, oh, maybe that's what the issue, the issue is. It's lost the password, so it can't connect. Uh, so I retyped the password um, in there that I have set up. I hit next and boom, it worked. So after not being able to connect for about half an hour, all of a sudden, I was in. Now, as I said, I've not had the opportunity to uh, experiment on this because I've not had the issue and I've not actually touched my mixer in a few months now. I've not uploaded a video um, in some time and I think it's been a couple of months. Um, so I don't know for certain whether this is, tri this is not tried and tested. I just know that it worked. And because we've always discussed this by saying the issue is happening within the internal um, uh, within the internal connection, not the external connection, uh, it must be to do with the settings on the app. Um, I mean, could be to do with the actual uh, router itself that Mac you've installed in there. It might just be that it's not, uh, I guess, the best of quality. I, I don't know. Um, uh, but I'm not going to knock uh, Mac you. Because as I always conclude after I finish my rants, um, this is a good product. 
Um, and for most of us that use this product, we appreciate uh, what Mackie have given us in this product. Um, there's always room for improvement with anybody. You know, I've, like I said, I've used Ellen Heath, Behringer, you name it. Um, there's always room for improvement. But yeah, stick your password in there. Uh, hit next. Go through all the options. And let me know if you've tried this option and it's failed. If it's failed, then we can get an idea that, you know, it was a fluke on my part. But I did struggle for about half an hour. Um, and I could not get in. Um, I was in a public place. So lots of different signals and phone signals, etc. Going through lots of different uh, Wi-Fi signals, etc. So, um, but it's the second I did that, it sorted out this internal connection problem. And I was able to get into the mixer. Um, you know, give it a try. Let me know what you, uh, you gather from this. And uh, if it is the solution, then boom, uh, spread the word. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are doing good. Um, and I will catch you guys in another video.